Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crossing the Line. We're going to take a look at this story that is developing here on Polygon.com. It's uh, Nick Merck's skin has been taken out of Call of Duty and Call of Duty Warzone due to his, uh, let's just put it in quotation marks, shall we, uh, bigoted anti-LGBT tweet he put out the other day. Now, there was uh, two factions of protesters in the street in a small town in the US protesting over whether they should have Pride Month in a school for children. Now, uh, where I stand on the matter is no children should just be let to grow up and make up their own decision. They do not need to know about the ins and outs of the LGBTQ plus two spirited, whatever you want to call it, community, because um, they're children, basically. It's not something children need to, uh, need to be brushed up on. And if you do want to talk to children about that, that should be left up to the parents, let alone uh, leaving it up to these propagandist teachers that are just cropping up all over the place now and brainwashing children in uh, schools as young as three. Now, um, we'll get into this story. This one's from Polygon.com. Now, this is a pretty biased story. You can act actively see who they side with on this, and they are not siding with Nick Merckx. Uh, he had a skin and his uh, Activision promotion taken off the video game Call of Duty and Call of Duty Warzone after just putting his uh, own opinion on the matter out there on Twitter, which is, uh, you know, he should know better. If anyone's uh, been following any of this culture war that is going on at the moment, you should know better. If you say the truth, if you say how you actually feel, you will get cancelled and you will get attacked. Now, uh, every media source that I've been able to find, uh, mainstream media, gaming media, anything like that, has been attacking Nick Merckx about this tweet. Uh, the only places that aren't attacking him and are actually holding him up are places like Fox News, Tim Cast, um, anyone on the right, middle ground that has any sort of common decency or sense. Now, I don't know where you stand on the matter, but I think just tweeting that you should... Uh, leave children alone and leave it up to the parents and let everyone love who they want to love uh, is a pretty based and uh, vanilla tweet and I don't think he expected it to get this much attention but the uh, left needs someone to cancel because they are being cancelled now we've had uh, Bud Light getting cancelled we've had Target getting cancelled their stock has dropped 15 billion dollars at market cap value uh, Anheuser-Busch is still suffering massively from their Bud Light fiasco and they've kind of just doubled down um and now activision has actively stepped into the ring and taken a side in this and they've removed his skin from the game and they will hopefully face the same consequences now uh, a lot of the people who get into video games uh my age younger and even older people that do watch Twitch streams and watch people like Nick Merckx or uh Dr. Disrespect or Tim the Tatman things like that if you um if they were blind to the entire culture war that was going on, that was literally started by Gamergate, uh, they aren't blind to it anymore. And uh, the silent, the silent majority of those people, hopefully, uh, will stand up and will voice their opinion, and they will put it, put it down, and not give Activision and companies that are promoting this transgender and LGBT content onto children. They will not give them their money and they will not give them the support. Now, uh, a lot of the tweets I've seen following Nick Merckx and Dr. Dick's Respect as well are in favor of them too and uh, are pretty much anti lg well, they're not anti-LGBT, but they are pro Nick Merckx and Dr. Dick's Disrespect. Now, uh, we'll get into the story here from Polygon. Just bear in mind that this is a biased as story and they are obviously trying to slander his name. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had several alleys of legal, I don't know, retribution open to him at the moment because some of the stories I've read about this poor dude, and I don't even watch his content, uh, I've seen a bit of his stuff, but some of the stuff these companies and um, places are saying about him is pretty goddamn disgusting. And this is a this is a mild one. Polygon Call of Duty removes Nick Merck's skin following streamer's anti-LGBTQ tweet. In a follow-up stream, Nick Merck said he would not apologize or take down the tweet. 
Call of Duty publisher Activision has removed Nick Merck's operator bundle from its Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone stores. After the streamer and former MLG champion it was named for made an anti-LGBTQ tweet. Well, the, the tweet isn't actually anti-LGBT or anything. On Tuesday, esports broadcaster Chris Puckett, uh, Puckett responded to footage shared on Twitter of an anti-LGBTQ protesters attacking pro-LGBTQ demonstrators in Glendale, California. Outside a school board meeting, in his quote tweet, he said, Americans are in a sad place right now let people love who they love live your own life uh this is a said tweet here this happened four blocks from my overwatch league apartment americans are in a sad place right now let people love who they love and live your own life um that would be all well and good if the lgbt people and you can see antifa mainly here wouldn't just go and attack the people who oppose them like, they're saying that these, uh, I think there are a lot of Armenian people, as uh, tweets and things I've seen coming out, um, which seems to be like the minorities and like uh, Middle Eastern people and even wogs here in Australia, they're the only ones that actually stand up for any of this and will actively physically put themselves in the firing line to stop all this disgusting stuff that this whole brainwashing agenda is going after children. They are the only ones that actually stand up and stop any of it. Um, they're the ones getting attacked and the LGBT protesters, uh, which is basically just Antifa, are the ones who started it. And um, just saying that what he, uh, Nick Merck said in this tweet is just, it's nothing. It's He just said, just leave the kids alone. What's wrong with that? What you, I think Activision has come out and they've actually shown their true colors and they just promoted themselves as pro-pedophile and pro-groomer. I mean, they make video games for kids. So they're literally working with children and in the business with children and they're pro-groomer. That's pretty goddamn disturbing. Nick Kolchev, who streams... Uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, who streams his name under Nick Merckx, tweeted in response with a common common this is this is where it gets uh this is where it gets disgusting common anti-lgbtq talking point that far-right conservatives use to disparage trans people he said nothing about trans people they should leave the little children alone nick Merckx tweeted that's the real issue here numerous twitter users tweeted their disappointment in response to the statement that's bullshit for one because you go and look at the tweet you look at anything he's put out and there's nothing but love respect and people putting their hand out to help him and they agree with him they should just leave him alone the following day nick Merck's live stream said he wouldn't apologize or remove the statement from twitter which is fantastic because usually when something like this happens the people see that they're going to be coming for their checkbook and uh, coming for their bank account and they're going to be losing their revenue stream. They fold instantly, which I don't really blame them sometimes. I mean, like, if you're going to have your whole world crashing down because you said a benign comment that you have no idea, like, he might not have any idea what this culture war really is. I'm sure he's got other things on his agenda. And um, unless you're really deep into it, then you don't know what's going on half the time anyway. Uh, and he didn't fold. He stood by his guns and he stood up maybe because he's a new father and um, hopefully him and his ilk all stand by him and they, I don't know, like band together and start something new. Get off of Twitch and go to Twitter or Rumble or something like that and, uh, I don't know, not get bullied into towing the line and saying what the left and uh, black rock and things like that want you to say. The following day, Nick Merck's live stream said he wouldn't apologize. I'm not apologizing about this tweet because I don't feel like I'm I don't feel like it's wrong, he said, saying that he and his wife want to be the ones to speak to their child about stuff like that, which is completely fine. I mean, if you are raising your child and you don't want to bring up to them what LGBT is or any of that, because they're babies or because they're three to five or whatever, and they don't know and they don't want to know yet. Um what is wrong with that? I don't get it. It's like the same thing with the birds and the bees. If they're too young to like want to talk about it, uh, well, know what it is, sorry, and you don't want to talk about it yet, that's up to the parents to decide. The parents are the guardians of these children. You don't get to tell other people what they want, what they should be teaching their children, especially in the US. I mean, if someone wants to raise their child as Muslim, if someone wants to raise their child as Catholic, 
or an atheist, uh, that's up to them. That's up to the parents. And if you don't want to raise your child telling a baby that can't even take care of themselves yet about the birds and the bees and the bees and the bees and the birds and the birds and the birds that think they're bees and the bees that think they're birds and sometimes they're a bit of both, uh, that's up to the parents. That's got nothing to do with what anyone else should be saying. And it should just be separated like church and state. If you want to send your kid to a Christian school, you got to pay for it. If you want to send your kid to a private school and they're Catholic or whatever it is, that's up to you. But if you want your kid just to go to a normal public school, school, they shouldn't be shoveling this propaganda down their throat because I gu- guarantee you there'll be just as many people up in arms about it if they were shoving uh, religious ideologies down their throat, whether it be Muslim, Catholic, Christian, or Hindu or anything like that. If they were shoving those religions down their throat, Uh, you'd be upset. But now, because they're shoving the LGBT religion down their throat, people are supposed to just accept it because it is a religion. It's turned into a cult. I mean, I know half a dozen gay people that absolutely hate what this has turned into. And this whole chest feeding thing where women are losing their womanhood to this whole movement. It's disgusting. I mean, I remember growing up and there was things as tomboys and like my sister, she is a tomboy. If she grew up now in an environment like that, she wouldn't have just been a tomboy. They would have told her she was a lesbian or she was whatever, a, a bicycle, who knows? There's people identifying as Hitler. There's people identifying as furries and all sorts of things these days and that's what they're teaching kids they're not just teaching kids that sometimes a man loves a man and a woman loves a woman that's perfectly fine but even then that's a time and place for that and if the parents don't want to teach them that yet that's up to the parents they are brainwashing children and i'm surprised that this uh whole call of duty thing has turned into what it has because usually people like nick Merckx um would just fold immediately And it's amazing to see the amount of backlash Activision is copying for this and the amount of people that are standing behind him. Even uh, Dr. Disrespect here will switch stories because this this doesn't get any better. I mean, they just keep hounding the poor dude in this story here. And there was one there from Pink News today that I couldn't even read on air because they were that venomous against him but dr disrespect calls for uh, call of duty pathetic and remove uh, for removing nick Merck's skin dr disrespect labels call of duty pathetic after activision renews uh removed nick Merck's operator bundle following the stream's controversial comments on a pro lgbt demonstration phase member and co-owner nick Merck's came under heavy criticism after responding to a tweet showing a protest over Pride Month being recognized in a school, Nick responded by saying that they should leave little children alone, resulting in backlash on Twitter. Not really. The most of it was uh, pro-Nick. Uh, then he went to defend his stance and insisted it was fair, citing that the recent birth of his child as motivation for his comment. This resulted in Call of Duty removing the bundle from Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Some members of the community were supportive, while others uns- uninstalled Call of Duty in protest. Now, a big personality has given their take on the topic topic with Dr. Disrespect believing that Call of Duty made the wrong call. Dr. Disrespect slams COD PR team after Nick Merck's bundle tweet is removed. Uh, you can see his tweet here. Who's running Call of Duty PR and marketing now? The same people from the, uh, from the Purple Snakes. Pathetic. The phrase Purple Snakes is Dr. Disrespect's name for Twitch and the people responsible for running a streaming platform. He has been vocal against Twitch policy changes, most recently taking a swipe as it's retracted plans to restrict branded content. Doc comments on the removal of Nick Merck's bundle from the Unix standpoint. Although he is known for streaming these days, he was once Call of Duty developer working with a level designer for Sledgehammer Games. See, I didn't know that. During his time at Sledgehammer Games, Dr. Disrespect helped design several of the multiplayer maps for Advanced Warfare, including Quarantine, Recovery, and Solo. Sweet. Uh, admitted to admitted in October 2022 that he would love to see Advanced Warfare 2 and would consider getting involved again if asked. Uh, Tim the Tapman, to remove Cod, uh, basically hasn't done shit. I mean, you see the fat prick there anyway. Uh, we'll read this story too while we're here. Tim the Tapman asks Activision to remove his COD bundle in support of Nick Merckx. Nick Merckx has his operator skin bundle of the Call of Duty controversial tweet. Now, Tim the Tapman has re- called on du- uh, developers to remove his bundle as well as show his support for Nick. The Nick Merckx controversy... See, that's a pretty goddamn baseless art 
thing to ask isn't oh remove mine too how about you just go and tweet out and support of the dude or something like that i don't know that might work a bit better but we'll see if these three guys get together and they started their own thing say on twitter or rumble or like that uh they could get rid of twitch entirely because twitch is nothing but a leftist propaganda platform you can't say anything that they don't like if you say anything even not on the platform if you sat in another platform in your own private home even and someone gets a hold of it if you say something that twitch doesn't agree with they will take you down and they will take every penny that you've got they are disgusting and they are controlled by the leftist establishment just like apparently now activision is as well we all know that every time this month comes around and lgbt pride month comes up there's always a few uh hiccups along the way and people saying stupid things and they get cancelled for it and this has got to end we're not being held accountable for having an opinion that they don't agree with cancelling people because they don't agree with this propaganda and this cult that the lgbt has been turned into because gay people get cancelled for saying things like that too and just because they don't toe the line and go along with the narrative that they've got there it's insane have a look at how much money target has lost all right Target has lost $15 billion in shares because they were selling tucking barbie, uh, what do they call it? Uh, tucking swimsuits for children and minors. And not just that, they had went into the children's section, it was all pro LGBT. You do not need to talk to children about their sexual preferences because they are children and they shouldn't have sexual preferences yet. That is a thing for when hormones kick in and they start to turn into adults. And then when it comes up, it should be up to the parents to explain it to them. Why is that so hard for people to understand? You don't have to hate gay people or trans people or anything like that. And no one generally does. I don't know anyone that does hate them. You just need to leave people's kids alone and all this will go away. You won't hear about it in the news every day like it has been. It's insane. If you just leave people's kids alone, you won't have an issue. Don't go out there and promote trans shit to them don't go out there and promote top surgeries and going and coming out as gay or non-binary or as a fluffy dog don't promote kink stuff to them because half of it isn't even just about the sexual preference it's kink shit it's like here i like to be tied up and blah 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 to children they don't need to know that. And if you are telling children that, if you're a teacher at a school like that school there in Glendale, and you want to express to a child your sexual fantasies and what they should have as a sexual fantasy, you are a groomer hands down. You should be the ones getting cancelled. We, I remember like, oh, what, three years ago that pedophiles were a bad thing and grooming was a bad thing. And now you want us to accept grooming and pedophiles as part of this rainbow flag uh, propaganda. It's not going to happen. There will be blood spilt in the streets before people hand their children over to be indoctrinated into this leftist, mind-bogglingly pedophilic propaganda, whatever you want to call it. It's disgusting. And... People will die to protect their children and people will die to protect other people's children. If I don't even have kids, but I would kill or do anything to protect other people's children because they are innocent and they should be left out of this. And then you've got massive multi-million dollar, billion dollar companies grooming them or helping people that groom them. Like Dylan Mulvaney is a groomer. Jeffrey Marsh is a groomer and there's all these massive companies giving them tens of thousands of dollars, if not more, to help promote grooming. There is an issue here that runs deep into a dark, dark place. It runs into places like where was Jeffrey Epstein getting his children from? What happened with the list? It, things like that. That's where it goes. You're grooming children on a mass scale. That is terrifying. And people are not going to stand for it. If all these people that are pissed off about Faze, uh, Nick Merck, sorry, getting 
getting removed and getting his uh, thing, uh, his skin removed from Call of Duty and Dr. Disrespect taking a stand. If they all band together and they start their own thing and crush Twitch and crush Activision and they start their own, I don't know, streaming service where they can get paid the money that they deserve, get paid what they want. They can promote their own products with having without being attacked by Twitch and things like that. They need to go to Twitter. They need to talk to Elon Musk or they need to go to Rumble, talk to those guys. There's something. They need to figure something out now and start this secondary streaming service because the Twitch and the other ones, they are too far gone. You can't say what you want to say. You can't. You, um, you don't have to be out there saying that you're anti-LGBT or racist or anything like that. Those people shouldn't have a voice. Under, and if they do have a voice, I don't want to hear it. You know, pick and choose. But it's freedom of speech. You should be able to say what you want so we can point out the asshole in the room. Like Generally, I'm the asshole in the room 90% of the time. We need freedom of speech on all platforms. And these kids that are canceling their Call of Duty, stopping pay- playing it, deleting it off their consoles, they need to be supported. You guys need to band together and you need to get together and you need to keep this thing moving to protect people from voicing their opinions. If Nick Merckx can't say it, and I'm sure he's got a bank account with multiple zeros in it, more than anyone I know, and Dr. Disrespect would be the same, if they can't say their own opinion online or even just tweet something that's inconspicuous, uh, sorry, is as bland as what he tweeted, then we have no hope in our own private world. If they're getting shut down and banned, imagine what's happening to everyday people. We have a doozy of a story here. This is where TikTok has led. This is where the um, mental illness of this new generation that's coming up now has uh, gotten to. Yes, you've read that uh, title correctly. Uh, Hitler is back. Hitler is um, also rather effeminate and uh, probably gay by the looks of it and is into uh, egg laying kink by the sounds of it. Uh, If you haven't heard, this is a TikTok uh, story that's uh, cropped up over the last couple of months. This uh, young fella here has decided that uh, he is actually Hitler reincarnated. Um, yep, yeah, uh, that's right. He thinks he's Hitler reincarnate. And, uh, not to just to mention himself, but his mother is also, uh, reincarnated from Hitler's mother. So, I don't know what this goes to say about, uh, this woman's parenting skills, but I'd say that they're pretty piss poor. And, um, I don't know. Mate, what's going on with this generation? I think we need to bring back bullying in schools or something like that. I mean, this kid's prime candidate for a school shooter, prime candidate for a uh, Democratic supporter. I don't know. But um, maybe it was COVID that did it to this person. Maybe it was the lockdowns. Who knows? But we'll get into this story here from The Daily Dot. All hell broke loose online when a TikToker claimed he had uh, to be the reincarnation of Hitler. Felix Cipher, as he goes on TikTok, claimed he and his mother were reincarnated and that in the past lives they were Adolf and Clara Hitler. A TikToker claimed that the reincarnation of Adolf Hitler has since deleted video that exploded across the app. Now an army on Facebook sleuth is dedicated to digging through his past. I wonder why they're trying to track him down. Uh, Massad's probably already got a uh, drone following him around. Uh, the TikToker who goes by the f- uh, Felix Cipher was initially called out for wearing Nazi paraphernalia in a video m- he made about his uh, nose ring, which was m- which was made to look like Hitler's mustache. The video is now gone, and the Daily Dot could not confirm the validity of the original video. However, numerous TikTok users all stitched and duetted the video, called it. Uh, the original video to call Cypher out. Cypher then made a second video addressing the nose ring allegations where he claimed to be in t- a tune with his past and past lives. It said in a past life, just so happened to be a very infamous one. Even though Cypher's TikTok account is gone, the videos have still gone viral across the internet. So well, I'll take a quick look at that video of uh, the uh, infamous nose ring there. Before this one. My last life just so happened to be a very infamous one. Me offing myself was one of the first memories I had from that lifetime. It came to me when I was five in my nightmares. You can see right where I shot myself too. 
that and just so many other things throughout my life have connected me to my past. And you can go say, oh, go get on your meds again, you nutter. I've been on so many meds and none of them have changed what I saw when I was five. So, yeah, that happened. Um, he's correct. Um, he should be on his meds again. And um, I don't know where to go with that. But I think that kid really needs to be put into some um, hardcore therapy. But uh, we'll keep reading this story from the Daily Dot. Cypher claimed that the video that he remembers Hitler's suicide is his own and the vision first came to him when he was five years old. Both Cypher's videos went viral and users quickly started calling him out, professing the disturbing claim that he was the second coming of the Nazi leader. In a follow-up video, Cypher also claimed that he had the mark where Hitler shot himself. Well, maybe history should repeat itself. Who knows? Uh, one of those spoke out uh, was Gordon Lev, a Holocaust survivor. Lev made a video saying that Cypher's nose ring was not cool, according to Gray. Cypher allegedly responded to the video, Ha ha, it's me. Sorry, my men had you in a camp, old pal. But I'm back for a reason, Cypher commented, according to Lev's wife, Julie Gray, who wrote about the interaction. Wow. Um... I don't think this person's trolling. I think this person's dead serious as uh, as one can be anyway when it comes to this. But, um, yeah, there's something wrong with this generation that's coming up. I don't know. It's Hitler Youth, maybe. I don't know. Uh, while Cypher only recently gained TikTok notoriety, a Facebook group revealed that Cypher has potentially had this reincarnation theory for a while. In a group, users have been sharing stories and digging deeper into Cypher's past, unearthing videos that say were made by their apparent ex-partner who claimed he expressed suicidal ideation. Well, that fits the bill, doesn't it? I mean, Hitler had suicidal ideation as well. Uh, the group also unearthed the old Tumblr blog. It relieves, uh, believes Cypher's end, which makes explicit comments about Hitler. The user's name on the Tumblr blog of the group unearthed matches up with an account on Instagram that also appears to be of Cypher. The Facebook group called on Tuesday as there were over a thousand members. Posts on the group include people who say that they knew Cypher in high school, detailing their experience with him, post ousting other members from defending Cypher and rampant doxing and accusations. The Daily Dot is not linking to the group and it's posted they have not uh, they have also doxed people close to Cypher. Photos alleging to be of Cypher's household address and share the group moderators have attempted to police the group as some users are even trying to get Cypher's mother's legal license revoked from the state where she practices law yeah well i think she should be uh, at home with her children uh parenting a little bit more um on what the group alleges was cypher's now deleted tumblr he said that he was writing his version of mein kampf and that his mother is the reincarnation of hitler's mother that's not a nice thing to say about your mum the facebook group has claimed that they got cypher fired from his job what was he working in a German bakery or something. Even as some are pushing back on the potential harm the group has caused around Cypher, Cypher allegedly is back on TikTok under a new username and is still apparently active on Instagram account. While reincarnation claims made by uh, uh, Cypher are serious, users on TikTok had a blast with Cypher's bold reincarnation theory. Um, in a statement to the Daily Dot, Cypher said that the uh, assumption by people that he carries the political views of his past self, Hitler, is completely unfounded. Cypher said that he talked about the uh, talked about eugenics, not genocide. What? That's just as bad. And that he doesn't believe in racist values like everyone assumes. He criti also criticised people for going after his family, saying this is my fight, nothing to do with them. Like, it's, it's his struggle. Remember, that's his struggle. Uh, Meta representative said as of Friday morning, Cypher's Instagram account was down. The representative said that the account has been taken down by Cypher and the platform had not intervened or banned Cypher from Facebook or Instagram. Why would they? I mean, they only, have, uh, they only ban you or... Um Take you down if you offend someone on the left. Uh, TikTok did not respond to a request for a comment. This post has been updated with comment from Cypher and Meta. Um, so, what do you do about that? I don't know, man. Like, does he have a father in the house? That might go a long way of um, pointing out where some of the issues are coming from. An absentee mother that he uh, views as Hitler's mother, which is kind of messed up. I mean... Whatever medication he's on, it's not working. And, uh, I don't know, double the dose. 
Maybe he needs some um that medication Hitler was on. I mean, he had that uh, taurine and cocaine and then uh, eventually took that lead pill, uh, fixed all of his problems. But uh, I don't know. Like, what do you do with a kid like that? Do you just take him out back and go, sorry, um, try again in the next life, hopefully? Just, yeah, I don't know. Like, this is bad. This I think this is uh, just part and parcel of where the internet and um, raising your kids on a phone and a tablet and raising your kids in such a hostile environment that the internet is and will always be, no matter how many, um, you know, how baby proof they want to make it, it's always going to be a bad environment for raising children. I think parents that just use it to raise their children are pretty piss poor in my opinion. But- Letting your kid go out onto things like TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all those things, and uh, they get the they get a little bit of attention over something like that because uh, I think that's what a lot of the um, leftist LGBTQ uh, propaganda that's coming out now is about is just getting likes and getting fame because if you're part of that uh, rainbow brainwash cult then you get more attention and you get positive attention. Even if you get negative attention, it's still people talking to you and you get people to come and back you up and, you know, protect you because they're on your side of the uh, side of the argument. You get a lot of attention. I think that's what this kid's probably done or doing or he just likes the attention he's getting, whether it's um, bad attention or good attention. I'm sure there's people out there who are like, yes, uh, it's fantastic you've come out the <laughs> come out the way you are. Um, he's obviously got something wrong with him other than just the Hitler thing. I mean, but any attention seeking people like him, oh, Dylan Mulvaney, I'd put in the same boat. Uh, there's plenty of others uh, on the internet, and um, they just get a little bit of fame and a little bit of attention over something that they've done and they keep using it and they go, well, I'm just going to dive right into it. And I think that's what's happened to this kid. He had some sort of weird sexual fetish with, I don't know, um, Hitler or the Nazis. And then, um, yeah, he's just gone whole hog with it and um, now thinks he's reincarnated Hitler, whether he thinks that or not. Uh, realistically, I don't know. But um, it's interesting to see what is coming out of TikTok and what that whole generation is uh, producing because I haven't seen that many good things come out of that generation yet. Um, yeah, it's just getting worse and worse by the day, it seems. I mean, what do you do about these kind of kids? I mean, they see, they're they going to be the ones running the country, running the world in a few years, you know, coming into uh, large-scale businesses, uh, politics, um, social engineering, things that are working. These are the ki- kind of kids that are working in places like TikTok and Twitter and well, not so much Twitter anymore because there's um, had a mass firing there, but places like Facebook, Meta, whatever you want to call it, Google, they're the kind of kids that are working there. These nutcases that portray themselves as something that they're obviously not just to get attention and likes. And um, they keep getting bumped up in the algorithm. Now, it makes me wonder why TikTok would bump him up in the algorithm so much instead of just taking him down. I mean, I've had videos deleted off of TikTok instantly before I've um, even had a view on them. They've got taken down. And I've had to re-upload them. As soon as I've re-uploaded them, um, they get a content strike on it and uh, they don't have to appeal it. Appeal it. Uh, but he's allowed to go around pretending he's Hitler? I mean, I know the fashion uh, of the 1940s uh, German army was pretty on point. I mean, those fashion companies are still, uh, I think they're all the major fashion companies today, like Balenciaga and I think, uh, was it Adidas that um, used to make the shoes? It was one of those companies that used to make the shoes. Um, all the same companies are still out today and then the high-end fashion. Maybe that's where he, uh, maybe he was watching a bit too much Kanye and um, he, or um, I don't know, he's got a bit of a fashion kick and that's how he got into it because he seems to enjoy the uh, Nazi fashion. But um, we'll see where Cypher goes, I suppose. We'll see what happens with him. We're going to take a look at this story here from Timcast. Breaking news. Donald Trump has been indicted yet again, this time on obstruction and espionage act charges, according to this new report. 
A new report has been alleged that the Justice Department is preparing to seek an indictment against former President Donald Trump for violating the Espionage Act for his obstruction of justice. The report alleges that DOJ is preparing to ask a Washington, D.C. grand jury to hand down the indictment as soon as Thursday. The Independent reports that prosecutors are ready to ask grand jurors to approve an indictment against Mr. Trump for violating a portion of the U.S. Criminal Code known as Section 793, which prohibits gathering, transmitting or losing any information respecting the national defense. An indictment is said to be related to Donald Trump bringing 103 documents that were marked as classified to Mar-a-Lago after leaving office. According to the report, Section 93 does not reference classified information, which would strategically out cut off Trump's claim that he had declassified all the documents before leaving the office and bringing them to Mar-a-Lago. If convicted under the section 793, Trump would face up to 10 years in prison. That section of the US criminal law is written in a way that could encompass Mr. Trump's conduct even if he was authorized to possess the information as president because it states that anyone who lawfully bring in possession of access to control over or being entrusted with any document relating to the national defense willfully, sorry, communicates, delivers, transmits or causes to be communicated, delivered or transmitted or attempts to communicate, deliver, transmit or, tr or cause to be communicated, delivered or transmitted the same to any person not entitled to receive it or willfully retains the same and fails it to deliver it on demand to the officer or employee of the United States entitled to receive it can be punished by as many as 10 years in prison, this report claims. Now, that means they couldn't get him on declassifying all that information that he did have because as the president, he can just declassify information as he sees fit, which is what he did with any of those and all of those uh, documents. Um, they couldn't get him doing that, so now they're trying to get him for saying that he was distributing it to people who weren't authorised to read it. So I don't know about you, but this is obviously a witch hunt to try to take him out of running for the next election, and they're going to try to keep his hands tied as much as possible because they know how much of a threat he is. There is no one currently running for president other than Donald Trump that has the ability to win. Joe Biden is not going to win the next election. He will, if he even makes it that far, he is an old, frail man who cannot keep his words together, can't even stand up on stage without falling over, can't go up a flight of stairs. They will not elect him as president again. He would die in the White House if that was the case. That is what they want for Donald Trump. They want him to pretty much die in prison. Any of these charges go through and he gets uh, convicted, it's a death sentence for him. He is that of... He is that old. We're going into prison for 10 years, 20 years. It's a death threat. Uh, it's a death sentence. And they know, very well know that. They want him to die in prison. And they don't care if these charges are fake or trumped up. They don't care. They just want their Democratic nominee to win. And they know the only way to stop Trump from winning the next election is to put him in prison, to slander him with as many false allegations and false reports and indictments as they possibly can. The original indictment, the fake rape charge that he got, uh, that he won in court but still had to pay damages for, and then this one here again. They are throwing everything they have at him so that he cannot win the next election. But its I don't think it's going to stop him. Even if you uh, are in prison, you can still run for president in the United States, which is astounding. We'll keep reading here. The report says that prosecutors intend to ask grand jurors to vote on the indictment on Thursday, but that it may be delayed or up to a week to allow a complete presentation of evidence. The former White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows is cooperating with the investigation will plead guilty to several federal charges as part of a limited immunity deal, which additionally includes him testifying against Trump, the report claims. On Thursday, Trump posted on social media that he's been indicted and summoned to appear at a federal courthouse, Miami, on Tuesday, 3 p.m. Trump responded to the federal charges by declaring, I am innocent on Truth Social. A corrupt Biden administration has informed my attorneys that they that I have been indicted seemingly over the box hoaxes, even though Joe Biden has 1,850 boxes in the university at the University of Delaware, additional boxes in his Chinatown, D.C., and even more boxes at the University of Pennsylvania, and documents strewn all over his garage floor where he parked his Corvette, which was secured 
only by a garage door that is paper thin and open much more uh, much more of the time, Trump wrote in his first of three posts on social media. Uh, Truth Social, sorry. Trump continued, I have been summoned to appear at the federal courthouse in Miami on th- Tuesday at 3 p.m. I never thought it possible that such a thing could happen to a former president of the United States who received far more votes than any sitting president in the history of our country and is currently leading by far. All candidates, both Democratic and Republican, in polls in 2024 presidential election, I am an innocent man. Trump declared this is indeed a dark day for the United States of America. We are a country in serious, rapid decline. That's very true. But we together will make America great again. This is the second time Trump has been indicted this year, but the first time being charged federally in April. The Manhattan District of Court turn- attorney charged Trump with 34 counts of falsifying business records. Trump is currently at the front run of the 2024 Republican presidential nomination. Now, doing this to Trump is uh, not surprising. They've been going after him with everything they possibly can. They tried spearing with all that fake Russia gate. Uh, the whole steel dossier, anything they can do to stop him from running, they will do. The Democratic Party and the Biden government will not stop until Trump is in prison. How is this happening in our day and age in apparently the leader of the world in America? It's the biggest, it's a shining beacon of uh, freedom and integrity and all this blah, blah, blah bullshit. And they have weaponized their government broken every law, they are breaking everything they hold sacred to get rid of the orange man. I mean, it just shows you how much power that the Biden government has stolen and created over the last couple of years, and it is using it all against Donald J. Trump. It will stop at nothing to see that man in prison and at least not see him run again. Even if he had I don't know, gone quietly into the night and not run again. I don't think that I I don't think they'd be following up on this. I don't think any of this would be happening. They'd just shut up. They just wouldn't say a thing. You know, they'd make sure that he, you know, uh, the next election is secure for the Democratic Party. They'd be going after Ron DeSantis twice as hard as they already are. But they would have left Trump out of it. But because he's running, because they know he will win the next election, they are going after him with a vengeance. I don't. I can't see him making it to the next election cycle, making it to the next presidency without someone trying to kill him, honestly. This is how bad this has gotten. They are falsifying charges. They are making shit up and just throwing it out there, throwing, you know, how much mud you can throw at a wall. Something eventually is going to stick. And it's all to cover up the massive corruption and disgusting acts that the Biden family as a whole has been getting away with for the last eons. I mean- We've got all this fake UFO media uh, stories coming out. We've got all this crap coming out about Trump now. It's because they've just released all this evidence on the Biden family and their corruption, and no one in the mainstream media is talking about it. No one said a word. It's all about UFOs and Trump and all this bullshit, and no one seems to be covering that the Biden family has heard all this massive amounts of information and finance data and everything proven to be true, has been leaked out about them and they have nothing to say about it. No mainstream media has anything to say about the Biden family corruption because they know they will be next on the hit list. They are going after Trump hard in 2023. They will come down on him like a ton of bricks in 2024. They are shutting down people like Tucker Carlson, people like uh, where the story is from, Tim Cast. They're going after anyone who can put out the correct information, at least put out the information that's true so you can make up your own mind about it. They are shutting them down left, right, and center. And it's only going to get worse the closer we get to 2024 election cycle. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, a share, and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.